everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a vlog today and I'm going to be going to an antiques market tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. It's one that I've been to before with Luke and we're gonna have a little mooch around and see if we can find some antique treasure. So I'm very excited about that. I'm kicking off the vlog this evening because I'm just settling down for a night in front of the TV. I'm going to be watching a movie. I've got Mittens here on my lap. At the moment, Mittens loves a bit of lap time. I think she likes the warmth. She's just um, having a little lick, <laughs> aren't you? I know, you can't groom inside the coat. That's the thing with these coats. The vet said that they can't groom themselves as much as they'd like to so they can get a little bit down. So I took the coat off her last night and gave her a good brush and she seemed to really enjoy that. So I'll probably do that again this evening, I think. As you know, I've been working with Sky Cinema as part of the Sky Cinema Club and it's that time of the month where I get to review one of their films. And with Halloween approaching, I've been having a good look through all of their horror films. You know that I'm a massive horror fan and they've got some of my all-time favourite horror movies on there, which are the Scream films. Let me know in the comments if you're a fan of the Scream trilogy. Well, there's actually more Scream films available now, isn't there? Because they've also got the brand new ones. They've got Scream 1, 2 and 3 and they've also got the new Scream which was out in the cinemas. I think it was this year but I didn't get to see it at the cinema so I'm very very excited that it's now available to watch with Sky Cinema. So this evening I think I'm probably going to go back to the start to my probably favourite Scream film which is Scream the original. I watched this film as a teenager and I absolutely loved it. I had it on VHS. It's probably my most watched film, so I can highly recommend this film if you haven't watched it already and you're a fan of the horrors. Even if you're not a fan of a horror film, I feel like this might be a film that you really enjoy. I was absolutely obsessed with it as a teenager. I remember having like a little glass and I had a mask, like the screen mask, where you could like pump blood through it. They're a real throwback for me, but they're films that I never really tire of, especially at this time of year. I just love getting really cozy and watching a good horror movie at this time of year. And I've been having a little look through the list of horror films that they've actually got on Sky Cinema and they've got some really good ones. They've got Paranormal Activity, they've got Halloween Kills, which I thought was really, really good. They've got more sort of creepy style films as well, if that's more your thing, like The Woman in Black, The Conjuring. They've also got a brand new Sky original called The Accursed, which looks really good. So there's loads of different horror films to choose from. So I thought I would close the shutters, light the candles. I've got some new Halloween snacks that I spied down at M&S that I'm gonna get involved with. And we're gonna have a very cozy evening hiding behind a cushion on the sofa. Right, let me show you the snacks that I've got. So all of these I picked up from m and We have the sweet chili combo mix. And then we have the Percy Pigs gets spooky. Okay, they are actually quite creepy. <laughs> we have Percy Pig with like a pumpkin style mouth. And I also picked up some sour spiders. I do love sour sweets. Excuse me, pumpkin. No. <laughs> No, you do not eat the spiders. Oh, I'm excited. You two haven't seen Scream before. So I ended up watching both of them. So first things first, Scream never disappoints. I've just put the blurb up and it says, 1996, wow. I'd forgotten that it was that long ago. So it says student Neve Campbell. So Neve Campbell plays Sydney Prescott in it. Um, is stalked by the masked murderer who kills her mum. Smart teen slasher from West Craven with Courtney Cox and David Arquette. And I guess the way to describe these films is it is basically like a big whodunit because the murderer obviously wearing the ghost face mask so you never know who the killer is until the end of the movies with lots of twists and turns along the way i think my favorite scene in scream is the iconic one at the start with drew barrymore i think the scene itself lasts almost 15 minutes and then i watched the new scream from 2022 and it says 25 years later how do i feel now a new killer emerges and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. Now the thing with horror sequels is sometimes they can be a bit disappointing, can't they? Scream kind of sticks to 
what it knows is good. You won't be disappointed, I don't think. If you're new to the Scream films, I would highly recommend you start with the original classic from 1996, which is still my favourite. These two have been trying to eat my snacks all evening, so they kept me very busy during the film, and they kept jumping up on me and making me jump. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of the Scream films as well, and if you are, let me know which one out of them all is your favourite. And also just let me know what your favourite horror film is. Right, we better get to bed because I've got to be up bright and early in the morning, I've got a big day ahead down at the Antiques Fair, which I am very excited about. So I will see you in the morning. There we are. Oh, hello. Nice light. Just zoomed in. There we are. Yeah. Good morning. Look hello. who's here. Good morning, everyone. We are so excited. We are. We are parked outside Sunbury Antiques and we're about to go in. It feels like Christmas. It does, doesn't it? We just mm. got the jitters as we pulled in because um, it's that feeling of like, oh, what are we going to find? Yeah. That's it. And it, it was, I was just saying to you and on the way here, it's been over a year. Yes. Crazy. It was September last year that we came here, wasn't it? Yeah, sure was. And we had little puppy Maggie with us. Yeah. So I felt Chasing like, leaves about the place. Yeah, it's just, it's it, honestly, I love it. So yeah, full 365 days later. Yeah. We're back. What are you in the market for? <laughs> I say this every time, nothing. I've already been warned by Zara, if I bring a vase home, she's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, nothing at all. Um, maybe some doorknobs. Nice. Um, and potentially a mirror, but that's okay. not essentials at all, just in case yeah. something catches my eye. And I'm after maybe a coat hook mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. and maybe a side, don't know what, kind of... Side <laughs> board? Side table? I could do some storage in it. Right. Um, okay, for the so living room. Not a console To table, replace but... the bureau. Mm -hmm. bureau. That's a lovely bu bureau. How do you say it? Bureau. Bureau. Yeah. It is lovely. Or what's the other word for them? Um, there's another word for them. I've I'm forgotten. The it's like a very yeah. warm, I'm baking. It's like very sunny today. It is. Um, anyway, the, the, the thing with the... <laughs> <laughs> the floppy down storage yeah. thing. That's a much better name. There's another word for them. I've forgotten it. Anyway, okay. um, we might discover that today. So, yes, um, I'd quite like to replace that because I just felt like it wasn't quite fitting in the living room mm. in terms of its style. You've had a bit of a rejig on And I found well. it. It was free, so I thought, yeah, pass that one on, maybe, and get something else for it. So we'll see what we find. Because um, you've got a lot of space in this vehicle, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, we've had a... Fill the boot up. Last year we had a Mini, yeah. so we couldn't really bring on much at all, to be honest. But this year we've got a slightly larger ve vehicle. Vehicle? Um, so, yeah, we can, we, can go, we can go to town. Go wild. Right then, let's go and find some treasure. <laughs> I've just got my cash out. I've got hundred pounds on me, in case I see anything. And we're just heading in for a browse. Let's see what we can spot. There's loads of stuff here. Oh, I like this sundial. Got lots of nice plant pots here. And, oh, look at these hooks. So I'm after some coat hooks today. That's interesting. Love seeing all the vintage teddy bears. We have a Stife here. These are very collectible, aren't they? You recognize these by the button in the ear. That is such a gorgeous one. What's this here? This glasses are on wonky. <laughs> So we've just walked in and we're feeling a bit overwhelmed already. It's just a lot. It's just like a lot to take in because there's mm. so many different things. Yeah. Like a lot of it's not categorized. So no. You're just sort of scanning and everything's like randomly placed. So yeah. like, That's the fun of it. Yeah, it's the fun of it. Yeah, but you sort of like have to really look and yeah. sort of concentrate. <laughs> Some more old dolls here. All these old cutlery sets here, they're beautiful. It's very nice. Luke spotted yeah, Fortnum's yeah. basket. <laughs> I just said that, I was yeah. like, that's a bit of you. Yeah, <laughs> it sure is. 
everyone was saying on the um, in the comments about the car boot sale vlog yeah. that I should have got the one for pumping the mittens and changed the I know. F to a P. So yeah, I've just oh, got so many hampers at home already though. I feel like yeah, that's true. I would have thought you would have got that. Is, yeah, maybe tempted. <laughs> the chap actually selling down there. I recognise him from the picking car boot. So, oh, do you? Yeah, really? he must do the rounds. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Have this Harrods little train. That's very sweet. This is my self-portrait. These Perspex tables. I've got a few of these that I actually found. Um, they sort of stack into each other. All sorts of different ornaments here, sculptures. And there's loads of artwork here as well. Vintage Mickey Mouse down here. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Flowers, yeah, I reckon so. It's presented very nicely in the easel there. More lovely baskets. Good quality. 12 quid for that one. That's 20. That can be 12 quid, that one. Yeah, this one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, thanks. You. Thank you. There you go. Worth checking. Luke spotted a flower container. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're not good enough. You always just get them cheap. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There's an old one, that one. So nice. When I spied that flower pot, I thought that's got Luke's name all over it. He's gone straight for it. <laughs> so we're just heading into the main section here at the race course. Going for a little rummage. Hi, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks. How are you? This is very sweet for a kitchen. Love that. They've got my favourites, rusty buckets. Oh, I remember. Wait, no, was it? no, it wasn't here you got one. It, where was it? The boot sale? Yeah, it was yeah. here. Rusty bucket. I do love a metal bucket <laughs> to put a plant in. This one's got holes drained in the bottom. They always look nice. Got some nice uh, plant pots here too. The old chandeliers. This shelving unit here for a kitchen. Love that. Yeah, I really like that. Sweet ornate side tables here. Little drawers in them. Often have some really unusual things here. Sometimes it's things that's like signage, or I'm not sure what this would be. Maybe it's part of a fun fair. Do you think? Maybe part of a fairground. I can imagine this being the surrounds of some dodgems or something like that. Really interesting stuff. Detail on this. Got some really nice solid tables here. Got a table of things for five pounds. A little rummage. These plastic crates that we've got. It's all cheap, Adam. 
All rusty buckets, mate. Oh, rusty yeah. Buckets. <laughs> That's a big one, getting that. It is. Having my bath in that this winter. Oh, yeah. Just coming into the car park area. It's absolutely jam packed full of things. So much to feast your eyes on. Love these cane chairs. Be very nice in a conservatory. A gorgeous day for this. Love these long benches. A lot of people have been buying their pumpkin dishes recently. We have a pepper dish. Eight pounds. A nice selection of stalls here. I actually had an MG Montego And the old shutters. Lovely in gardens. I'm wondering what people actually do with these things in this day and age. Would you put it in your garden, maybe? Full of plants? It'd be a huge planter, wouldn't it? Amazing. Not sure what else you would do with that. I mean, I guess you could use it. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. So many paintings here, all these different artworks. Still lives. Lovely frames as well. Mm. I love that. Yeah. So much. Really, really nice. That's nice. It's got quite the stare going on. Yeah. <laughs> got books tied up in little parcels. You want them? <laughs> by colour for your shelves, oh, you can buy them it? here. I think. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Oh, that's nice. You kind of group them so you could like fill out your shelves in different colours. So this guy just made me jump. <laughs> wow. Some really random stuff here. This is nice. Having a browse at all this old technology. It's cheap, for two pounds. Everything on here, two quid. Luke's after some knobs, and I think there might be enough in here for him, for what he's got in mind. So I'm going to give him a shout and let him know about these. Got some. Each. Luke thinks the knobs are going to work. Yeah, good. well spotted. Yeah. Yeah. Well spotted indeed. The paintings are quite nice. They are, aren't they? They? Yeah. Two pounds. So yeah. Good. Have an old-fashioned hot water bottle here for two pounds. That's so clever. Yeah. Um, vintage Disney here for five pounds. Mini Mouse. Classic old print, isn't it? <laughs> See that a lot. We have some royal ladies here. Royal Dalton. These are fab, aren't they? We call mittens royal lady. <laughs> they got any with kittens? Not that I can see. Cool to see all the different collections together. Yeah. Some more Stife teddies here. Very cute. Keep seeing these stools. I know a lot of people put things like this next to their bath. So you can pop a candle or a glass of wine on it. Loads here to choose from if you're in the market for one of them. These mirrors are very sweet. I think they'd look nice in a garden dotted around. It's just 
identified some hooks. We'll go and investigate those. They look very nice. Yeah, I reckon you could haggle them down. You can yeah. make a couple of head off that. For sure. These might be a good contender. I'm going to continue on and see what else they've got here. Because I think these are probably new. Mm. And I'm, there might be some antique versions here. But I do really like those. Lovely sideboard here. I mean, £150 is really good. Yeah. And they're solid. Like I they're love that. Real solid. Love these vases. Is this what you got last time? Was it it's one of these? these? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's from these guys. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah. They're lovely. Cool little drawers. Organised craft supplies in that sort of thing. Very sweet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Got another Fortnum's hamper here. Good size. That's a lovely table. Really like that. Another random spot. <laughs> a group of penguins. How about this gin o'clock? <laughs> Quite the champagne container. <laughs> Moe and Chandon. Holds four bottles. Ooh. Coming into the last section now, which is right at the back of the car park. People are starting to pack up a little bit now. I think the morning is over now, so people are starting to put things away. But yeah, I think this might be the area where you can probably find some really good bargains. It could be a good tip to maybe come to this far end first and work your way back. I'm not so sure. But yeah, have a look what's here. The old sign from the BBC radio. Hiya. Hello. All right. <laughs> Remember the Apple Max when they were like that. <laughs> Just watching some of the traders packing up. It looks like tough work loading up their vans. There's so many items they have to wrap up and pack away. A Princess Diana doll here. Yeah, that's very collectible. The Franklin Mint. There's different, yeah, different jewellery in there. Right, I'm gonna go back to the stall where I spied that little cat hook thing. Let's see how much they want for that. Look at that. It's very sweet. How much do you want for this? No, you've been back twice. It's doubled in price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it worth to you? It is lovely. So I've secured the cat hooks. He said, how much is it worth to you? And I said, tenner. <laughs> and then he laughed. But then um, she said, I was thinking 15. 15 all right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I, I was good. we were going to be like... More. 30. Yeah. Oh gosh, no, but... It's the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's gross. And it folds flat as well. So if yeah. I pop this in the hallway, it's quite nice because then, then it will fold flat if it's kind of in the way. Say if I want to move a big piece of furniture in or something, Hello. just fold it flat. So we had a very successful trip. Well, I managed to find my hooks at least. Luke found quite a lot of things. Yeah, oh my gosh, <laughs> honestly, guys. I think I just went a bit wild. I, would, I, would, I think I was a bit excited, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so you'll be able to see what Luke got over on his channel. Um, but now we are heading to McDonald's for a little drive through because we're both ravenous. Yeah. And we're going to sit and do a Q&A as well, so that'll be a separate video that'll be up soon. What's that? Oh. oh. Thank you very much. Here we are. Thank you. Can you pack in there, please? Thank you. Of course, no worries. Oh, could I grab some ketchup? Is that all right? I Thank you. Now. Okay. Any sauce for you? Thank you so yes, much, Julie. Thank you. Too fine, yeah? Yeah. Woohoo! So we've just filmed questions and answers that will maybe be up or they might be coming soon. Um, mm. If they're up, I'll link them in the description box. That was good fun, wasn't it? Very nice. We yeah. have the lovely view of Twickenham Motorway. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Would you like to see it? Oh, there's a track to go oh, past. There we, we are. Go here. Don't say that we don't give you riveting content, guys. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to finish our McDonald's and we're off to B&Q because um, Luke needs a little bit of... Some DIY, yeah, I yeah. need a tiny little piece of wood and um, some potential skirt and board paint. Oh yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! All <laughs> exciting here. Yeah. Just heading into B&Q, got lots of lovely plants outside. Do love a little look around the DIY store. B&Q's a good one. Ooh. Oh, I'm 
the kitchens. What have you forgotten? <laughs> oh yeah. Luke's getting some panelling up, he needs to match it. These are interesting, these hippo bags. You buy the bag and it includes a collection. So if you have garden waste or something like that, you buy it in store, fill it at home, and then hippo collects it. So this one's 160 pounds, um, including VAT. Oh, collection from, sorry, look inside for the offers. Um, so yeah, it could be a good way to get rid of a load of stuff. Um, it's a bit like an alternative for hiring a skip. We've got huge bulb selections here, two for £12, £7 per pack. Get loads in that daffodil mix. Furniture in here seems quite reasonable. Got armchairs around £100. A few reductions. As I was saying, a few reductions. <laughs> I don't know if you would have heard that. No joy for the bit of beading that Luke was after. So we're oh, off is that to what it's called? Beading? Is it? Or panelling? Wood? Having a clue. Ornate wood mm. strip. Strip. Um, so we're off to a different um, builder's yard for a little look. Yeah. And then going to head home. I'm That's excited because I feel like this is the last piece of the puzzle. I've got yeah. everything I need now. It's always the way, isn't it? It's always that one thing. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. one piece of advice to anyone doing DIY, buy more than yeah. you need. Buy more so than With my need. bathroom tiles. So yeah. Every time there's something that slows you down, so yeah. you don't have the right thing. Of course. Yeah, right. Fingers crossed this next place. Sweet. Just spied a little cafe. Or coffee shop in home box. That is genius. Love that. Oh, God, I need cobwebs. <laughs> <laughs> Getting distracted. Look Cute. at that. <laughs> wow. I love the smell in these sort of shops. Smells of sawdust. Luke's just asking if they've got the bit of wood he wants. Luke thinks he's found well, a, a strong match. Yeah. Or as good as it's going to be. It's not the same, but it'll do, will it? It'll do. Yeah. It'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Very good customer service in there. Yeah. What's it called? Hitchcock, Hitchcock and King. King. Timber and Builders Merchant in Twickenham. There we are, yeah. Got you sorted and chopped it up and everything for him. It's not an exact match. <laughs> no. But he'll do the job, he won't even it? Asked the, I took a piece in and he was like, never seen it. Seen yeah. it, but don't have it. <laughs> well, that was a successful trip all around. Indeed. Had a lovely day. Yeah. It's been sun shining. Lovely little mooch around um, the antiques. Yes. <laughs> Bit of DIY action. My God, I know. Yeah, time to head home now. Just got home and made a cup of tea. That was such a lovely day. It's so nice to just wander around an antiques market, isn't it? Especially on a sunny autumn day like today. Had a lovely time with Luke, just catching up. And yeah, thoroughly enjoyed having a good old mooch and browse. There was lots of lovely bits there, wasn't there? I'm sure you spied some things in the footage. Um, let me know in the comments if anything particular caught your eye. But I came away with just one thing. Oh, Mittens is just having a little sniff down there so you might hear something. She's doing all right, she's still recovering from her operation, but she's doing well, aren't you? I'll bring her up in a minute to say hello. Why are you meowing? Come over here. This thing actually gave Pumpkin a fright when I bought it in. I think it is actually the cat on here. <laughs> this outline startled him. You know how he was a scaredy cat when it came to the catnip? It was the same effect that this thing had on him. He really, um, yeah, it put the wind right up him and he was out of there when he saw this and hid under the sofa. But um, he came around and came give it a good sniff afterwards. Um, so he's got used to it. But this is the shelf that I picked up. So as I said, I wanted um, some sort of coat hook to go in the hallway and I spied this from a lovely couple that were there selling. Um, I think they live in France or they go back and forth to France. They picked this up in France and it's this cat design, shelf and the hooks and then it folds up. So if you have it in the hallway or somewhere that maybe you don't want it to stick out, I was thinking if I do bring furniture into the house for example and you need that bit of extra space, you can just hook this up and then it will fold completely flat. How did he do it? Yeah, up like that. And these bits fold in. So yeah, I thought that was brilliant. Such a unique piece, isn't it? So I was tempted by some other ones, but I think they were kind of like reproduction. And you know, I don't know when this was made or anything, but I've never seen anything like this before. Um, and I thought it'd be quite handy to have that little shelf in the hallway as well. Pop a couple of baskets on there just for um, bits and pieces. 
it's relatively lightweight, so I'll just need to get a couple of solid screws, I think, to hang it up. And I'm very pleased with that. So yeah, 15 quid. Um, I think that's a bargain. Let me know what you think of it. It's quite unusual, isn't it? So yeah, couldn't resist it. The cat design on that. I've got a few other things to show you. I went to a Lakeland um, Christmas preview recently at Somerset House and they were showing all the things that they're releasing ahead of Christmas and they very kindly gave me a goodie bag. So I thought I would show you the things in here. Might give you a bit of inspiration um, for Christmas. There's also some like practical things in here. So I'll just whiz through it all in case you're interested. Um, so first of all, we have a microwave soup mug. I've never had one of these before and yeah, I thought that could be very handy. So it's just a thing for taking a hearty portion of soup to work. So it has the clip on lid and also a handle so you could just drink from it like a mug, you know. Um, we also have some Uni Neapolitan pizza dough mix. So they had the pizza ovens there, um, which looked incredible. Never tried that before, so I look forward to giving that a go. We also have um, some vermouth, bar vermouth, sorry, bathroom cleaner. I haven't tried this one. Um, it says with deep foaming action for scrub-free cleaning, cuts through soap scum. So I'll look forward to giving that a whirl. And then for Christmas time, we have these little Gonks, these are little hot chocolate dunkers. What do we call them? <laughs> little hot chocolate melts. There we go. Delicious milk chocolate drink with a marshmallow surprise in there. Nice little stocking filler. We have some washables. So it says eight dolly washables with cotton bag. So these things you put into the washing machine and it helps to distribute the clothes and the detergent to make your washing machine work more effectively. So it actually helps the detergent do its work. So this is what they look like. And it says they can be used with bleach detergents and softeners and you can save approximately 30 to 50% on your washing detergent by using these. Also, it helps the clothes not be too creased as well when they come out. So that's always a bonus as well. We also have this bamboo multi-purpose cloth. And this stuff's great because it's really robust. I've used this for cleaning before and I actually used it to put some bleach on some mold on the wall um, to remove that. And it worked really well because this doesn't kind of rip apart. It's so, so tough. And yeah, a nice eco product, no plastic with that. They also included these very sweet cookie cutters in this snowflake design, which I thought were lovely. And finally, we have these six reusable vacuum pouches. I didn't know that was a thing. So it says ideal for coffee beans, cheese, vegetables, meat, kitchen cupboard, essentials, and much more. Vacuuming removes the oxygen, which is the main cause of oxidization and food spoiling. So these are recyclable for dry food only, fridge, freezer, and dishwasher safe. So yeah, thank you to Lakeland for those bits and definitely have a look at their website because they've got some fantastic products out at the moment. They have some really lovely, luxurious heated throws, kind of furry ones that I was very tempted by and also the heated clothes rails as well. I'm thinking of maybe getting one of those because I know that they're quite good with the um, energy use that they use and they're quite efficient apparently. So yeah, I'm tempted by a couple of things on there, but definitely have a little browse if you haven't had a look on there for a while. And the last thing I want to show you is this magazine. This is Homestyle. It's the November issue. It's out in the shops at the moment. I picked this one up in Sainsbury's and it has my friend Medina on the cover. Um, Medina, who is Grillo Designs on Instagram, who does brilliant, brilliant interior stuff. And she's got a feature in here. And she rents her property and she's talking about all of the clever hacks that she's done to completely transform it. Her home is beautiful. You must follow her on Instagram if you're on Instagram and you haven't done so already. And it's got kind of like the inspo section here where you can shop some of the things. But yeah, I really enjoyed having a flick through this magazine. So I'm gonna continue reading it now. Um, with my cup of tea and put my feet up for a bit with the kittens. Let me just grab them so you can say hello to them. So here is Mittens. I'm just picking her up very carefully because she's still recovering. She's a very tired lady at the moment, aren't you? All right, she's off. <laughs> and I've got Pumpkin here as well. And you've been pretty quiet as well. You haven't been quite as mischievous as usual, but you've been a bit more spring in your step than Mittens, haven't you? But yeah, Mittens is a very tired girl at the moment. She is just having very long naps recovering. And Pumpkin, 
as I say, he's been quite, <laughs> quite quiet too, but he's definitely got the spring in his step back a little bit, haven't you? You're both doing all right though, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Oh, you're back, are you? Hello. There we go. They have been enjoying my lap recently of an evening. I've just been lying on the sofa and um, that's the vibe. They like the warmth, I think. Right, it looks like that's me trapped here now. So I'm gonna put my feet up and enjoy my cup of tea and have a flick through the magazine. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to click subscribe if you're new here for brand new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.